Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Bills Damar Hamlin wants to end career with Steelers, a dream. Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin will enter the fourth and final year of his rookie contract next season after being a sixth-round pick by the team in 2021. But what does the future hold beyond that? Hamlin, who turns 26 next month, is over a year removed from his on-field medical scare and will still be looking for a role in the NFL if the Bills. Given his deep-rooted connection with his home of McKee's Rock, PA right outside of the Pittsburgh area and the honor of being a Pitt alum, Hamlin didn't hesitate to admit his desire to play for the Steelers one day when asked about the possibility at a recent Topps trading card even in the Steel City. I think end of my career, finishing as a Pittsburgh Steeler would be a dream more so than playing there first because I played at Pitt, Hamlin said. So I was in the stadium, I played at Heinz Field, probably for like eight straight years. Hamlin made his return to Pittsburgh at what is now called Ackersher Stadium this past preseason against the Steelers. The Bills lost 27-15, but he was greeted with love from the opposing fans after the eventful past year he had. Seen as the favorite to win the Comeback Player of the Year this season, Hamlin ended up finishing in second for the award behind Cleveland Browns quarterback Joe Flacco. Hamlin played in just five games and was inactive for the other 12 during the regular season, but suited up for both playoff games due to Buffalo's injuries in the secondary. He got most of his work in on special teams during the season, finishing with two total tackles and one carry for two yards. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin said it would be a dream to finish his career playing for his hometown team. Hamlin, a McKees Rocks native who played for Central Catholic High School and the University of Pittsburgh, made the comment when asked if he'd want to play for the Steelers while he was at an event for Steel City Collectibles in White Oak. I think ending my career and finishing as a Pittsburgh Steeler would be a dream. I played at Pitt, so you know, I was in the stadium. I played at Heinz Field probably for like eight years straight, between WPIAL championships and Pitt, so a dream come true would be finishing my career as a Steeler. While at Pitt, Hamlin earned All-ACC Second Team honors after the 2020 season. He was selected by the Buffalo Bills in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. Every day I would finish practice at Pitt, I would work out, shower, go get my food, and then sit up top and watch the Steelers practice every day from freshman until graduating as a redshirt senior, he said. Rookie Recap, Corey Trice Jr. His rookie season wasn't anything close to what cornerback Corey Trice Jr. anticipated, spending the entire year on the reserve-slash-injured list after the promising cornerback was injured in training camp. Trice, who was selected by the Steelers in the seventh round of the 2023 NFL Draft, the 241st overall pick, was a player the coaching staff was excited about right out of the gate. He played a lot of press coverage and that's huge, said secondary coach Grady Brown, following the draft. Just the way that he plays press, being able to go down and not play a motor technique, not back up, really just use that frame to just take up a lot of space and make guys work on the line of scrimmage. Really excited about getting him in here. He has some toughness. He started his career off as a safety, a high school basketball player. So just a lot of good things just from a coaching standpoint to work with and we're looking forward to getting him in here. Trice is likely to come back even stronger in 2024, ready to tackle whatever is ahead of him. He has a tattoo that says, only the strong survive. It's a tattoo he got before he came to the Steelers, one that tells the story of his journey, which included a serious injury at Purdue and how he always fought through adversity. It was just about my time at Purdue, about where I came from and surviving adversity, said Trice after he was drafted. I have seen guys go through adversity and just quit. I have seen guys go through adversity and never come back. I knew with what I went through in football and life, only the strong survive. You have to be strong in faith, with your spirit and have a strong support system around you. You are going to go through tough times, and you want to make sure you have the right people in your corner. Corey Carlisle Trice Jr., born May 30, 2000, is an American football cornerback for the Pittsburgh Steelers of the National Football League, NFL. He played college football at Purdue. Trice attended Christian County High School in Christian County, Kentucky. 
As a senior, he was the Southern Pennyrail Football Athlete of the Year. He committed to Purdue University to play college football. Trice played at Purdue from 2018 to 2022. After starting his career as a safety, he was moved to cornerback in 2019. Trice played in only two games in 2021 due to a knee injury. During his college career, he had 106 tackles, five interceptions, and two touchdowns. Steelers predicted to grab polarizing QB with deep attacking mentality. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been repeatedly linked to quarterbacks such as Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, and Kirk Cousins this offseason. But mock draft experts have also routinely named the Steelers a landing spot for quarterbacks in the 2024 NFL draft such as Washington's Michael Penix Jr. on February 27. The Ringer projected the Steelers to select Penix at number 20 overall in the first round of the 2024 draft. The Steelers have publicly stated their support for Kenny Pickett, but there just isn't much evidence that Pickett is the answer for this team, the Ringer wrote. Penix will be a polarizing figure in this draft, and some will view this as a reach, but the former Washington star brings a quick, decisive style and an aggressive mentality to push the ball downfield to create explosive plays variables that differentiate him from what the team has gotten with Pickett. A scouting report from the ringers Danny Kelly hyped Penix for his arm strength and pinpoint accuracy, particularly on deep passes. He brings an aggressive, attacking mentality to the position and shows a willingness to throw the ball into tight windows to give his guys a chance to make plays, while he simultaneously does an excellent job of taking care of the football, wrote Kelly. Kenny Pickett completed a pair of 70-plus yard touchdowns during 2023 but the Steelers could use more deep completions next season. Pickett has averaged just 6.3 yards per pass in 25 career games. Only five qualified starters had a lower yards per attempt average than Pickett last year. Penix posted 8.2 yards per attempt during his college career. He averaged a career-best 8.8 yards per pass on his way to 4,903 passing yards during 2023. As one of the more polarizing 2024 draft prospects, Penix has landed everywhere from the top 10 to the second round in mock drafts. Kelly and CBS Sports' Ryan Wilson have been two of the biggest advocates of the Steelers, targeting Penix in the first round. Wilson projected the Steelers to trade up for Penix on December 19. Wilson again slotted Penix to the Steelers in a mock draft released on February 12. The Steelers' offense feels like it's coming from the 1850s, not even the 1950s, Wilson said on CBS Sports Network on December 19. And what you get from Michael Penix Jr. is a guy who can throw the deep ball. And guess what Deontay Johnson and George Pickens like to do? Run deep. Penix averaged more than eight yards per attempt in three of his college seasons, his final two at Washington and at Indiana in 2019. He also had a pair of 30 touchdown seasons at Washington in 2022 and 2023. Pickett may not be as great at the deep throw, but his ball security is elite. He had just four interceptions on 324 attempts last season. However, Penix takes care of the ball very well for such an aggressive quarterback. He had 19 interceptions on 1,109 attempts in 28 games at Washington. He also had 67 touchdowns. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Jerry Dulock wrote on February 17 that the Steelers are not interested in bringing in a new starting quarterback. That gels with what head coach Mike Tomlin told reporters on January 18 when he said the team's 2024 starting quarterback was already on the roster. Since the release of Mitch Trubisky the day after the Super Bowl, Pickett is the only quarterback on Pittsburgh's roster. Pundits are likely to continue linking the Steelers to outside quarterbacks. However, the team has given every indication publicly that Pickett is likely the team's starter next season. And you fan, what do you think of the Michael Penix Jr. situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.